if a missile is shot at your business here, there is still a wall that needs to get through before it starts taking your personal assets over on the left-hand side here. We're actually going to dive into a bit more around asset protection. And so um, I said, said earlier, um, sole traders are um, basically the, the highest risk you've got. Um, and so if you just draw, you can draw the pictures to, to match what you've got on your end. Um, we've, got, we've got sole trader being the absolute highest risk over here. Um, now, in terms of asset protection, my, um, my assessment of it is it's actually a, uh, a continuum of how comfortable you are with risk. Um, and what we kind of want to do when, when clients come on board is educate them to the principles around asset protection. And, and some people actually start really far to the left here uh, around the higher risk side. But what we want them to do over the, the course of working together is kind of slowly move over um, towards the, the right-hand side of the, uh, the diagram here. Now, um, <clears throat> uh, in terms of how we might do that, um, a... Uh, a company or trust, um, I said, is if it's set up correctly, is a separate legal entity. Now, if you can, please draw over your house icon here and turn it into a triangle because if we remember the, um, the company is actually a triangle um, or a trust. So PTY LTD um, or a trust or a combination of the two set up well actually takes you about halfway along, in, in, in my opinion, along this continuum. Now, there are still things that can um, uh, affect it, but uh, I said earlier that a company is a separate legal entity. And, and in uni, I learned this concept called the, the corporate veil, and it acts as like a wall. So if, if um, a missile is shot at your business here, um, there is still a wall that needs to get through before it starts taking your personal assets over on the left-hand side here. 